Lift up your hands if you're a witness of the goodness of God. Go ahead and begin to speak to me. Go ahead and begin to worship me. God for life. Tell him, Lord, thank you for the gift of life. Give him glory and praise. Salute his faithful. Jesus, my name, we pray. Now, uh, it's a beautiful thing to be in the house of God today. Uh, just before I proceed, I oftentimes, when things are spoken, many of us feel we are propelled from just a normal desire to speak. The Bible says visaged is mad. As we are all alive standing here, there are people here who are targets. Satan still believes he can get them and mess them up. I, I preach from my daily living, from the encounter I have on daily basis, from what I see on daily basis, because these things, they interpret the, the ideology and the dominion of Satan on earth. E each time I see some kind of happening around the earth. I, I don't fail to know that this is darkness walking. This is darkness walking. So just before I preach, I'd like you to tell God, Lord, 2022 will not see my end. It will not see the end of my loved ones. 2022, you will not see my end. Just go, I don't, don't think I am just, you know, ask, giving a, pray, a normal prayer point. See this to be an intervention time and period. I, 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 don't, I don't know who you are, but just pray. Just go ahead and pray. I can't hear your voice. Can you lift your voice and speak that 2022 will not see your end. Your blood will not roll on the floor. Your blood will not roll on the floor. You will not be captured at night. Satan will not feast on your soul. 
2022, you will not see my end. Let every works of darkness around my life be exposed. Open your mouth and speak that word. Thank you, Father. Make it a decree. The genuine people around you, they will not waste their blood this year. The good friends, the good colleagues, the good brothers, the good sisters, 2022 will not see their end. Somebody open your mouth and voice it out. Speak it out. hospital nobody will die of heart attack HIV tumor cancer 2022 you will not leave me with tears glory be to God in Jesus my name we pray I pray 2022 will not see your end. Jesus, mighty name of God. Amen. Kindly take your seat. So tonight I'll be sharing on the partnership. The partnership between darkness and Satan. On Friday, on Wednesday, I shared on the habitation or the abision of every negative spirit is darkness. And then tonight, I'll be sharing on the partnership. The partnership between darkness and Satan. On Sunday, to the glory of God, we are going to be having an impactful life-transforming service. And it's going to be incredible and amazing. Over the years, there are people you see or you meet and you, you've known them. And because of what you've previously known about them, you've come to believe that they are this way. All right. So there's a young man of God who's going to be here. I, 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 I think I got to know him about 13 years ago, if not more. And um, I didn't know him with a good name. Uh, why I have to say this to you is so tomorrow when we get to probably, yeah, I, I didn't know him with a good name. Probably because of youthful exorbitant and youthful age, youthful desire, youthful patterns of. He had the call from nine. 
And from nine, it was practically, it was a court, I mean, it was a called prophet. He was or is a called prophet from the womb. So at the age of nine, some years ago, he used to be very, very young then. They will be carrying him from one program to another. And then under his poster, they will write, nine year old prophet. So a crowd of people will gather. You know, when that guy was reigning in Poor Court, there are many great men of God who were not even out. When he began gathering two to three thousand congregation, many great men of God, but Along the line, because they, there was no tutelage. And of course, if you leave power in the hand of a child, you corrupt the soul of the child. Uh, power in the hand of a child will corrupt. And that's why the Bible says in Galatians chapter 4, it says, keep the child under governors and tutors. Keep that child under mentors. Keep the child under people who can be able to address the, the destiny of that child. So I, I didn't get to know him with a good name, with different kind of rights, things that were flying. The whole of Port Harcourt, anywhere you mention his name, it was it's always that way. But in the recent time, somehow, somehow, something happened and we got talking. And then how you know that a man had encountered something new is... In his words, you can't hide your partnership in what you say. You can't hide what you believe when we hear you say what you say. So I carefully had to give him a listening ear for about 5 to 10, 15 minutes. And he was communicating wisdom and intelligence. I felt probably this one is just a, a way to get into my heart. Let me check him out the next day. So the next day I called again and then he, he broke into divers of, you know, very sound. You know, one of the ways to know a false prophet is that they don't care about, you know, they don't care about studies. They don't care about soul brightness. They can preach to but the kind of preaching you see them preach is the preach that has beginning but has no end. That is, you know, just an excitement preaching. A preaching that will, you know, move people to, all right? They are not builders. They are tax collectors, but they are not builders. They don't know what it means to build people to build systems. That's why systems will always crash on profit. And it's what I have been trying my best to, to avoid because I know what it means to gather people, I mean senseless people. So I, I got talking with him and then he said he, he wanted to host me. I said I... So I told him, I said, I, I, don't, I don't preach for people. Or will I say, I'm, I'm not yet permitted by God to step out. Right now, I'm still, I'm still doing something with God. He said, I just want to hear you preach, just even if it is one day. He said, sincerely, I've been having fear to contact you, but, you know, I've been listening to your but I want to sit under your ministration. Just come and bless us for one day. I said, no. It will not be possible. But rather, you come. So when you come, of course, as a man of God, he cannot be asked to just sit down and be watching. He will be given a time. But I have this conviction within my spirit that there is an encounter. That there is a transformation in his heart. That the the, the, the guy before is no more. Because number one, I discovered that the entire titles, he used to answer about four titles before. That is when you see Reverend, Reverend Prophet, Reverend, Prophet, Doctor, Victory, 
and then at the dam, he will now put Gwogwo 1. So, when I notice Gwogwo 1, I don't know the meaning, but I, I, I just see it that way. So, when I notice, I checked in the recent times, it's no more, you, you can't see any of those things attached to his, and that, those are proofs of change. They are proofs of encounter. They are proofs of transformation. One of the ways to know a man who is driving or heading to destruction is attachment, too much attachment to titles and recognition. You know, I used to do it, so when I'm telling you I'm, walk, I'm walking through experience. Many years ago, when I, I will tell you, when I finish calling my name, you have to put something. The apostolic governor of Port Harcourt. It rained. Yeah, it rained very, very well. In the whole of town, Borokiri, Bundu, Diop, all of those sites, if you want to really know if anybody knows him, he's just the apostolic governor. But then I discovered that those, those are paths that lead to the grave. When maturity descends on you, you will pipe low. Yes. You will mellow down. What are you, what are you running after? <laughs> what, are, what do you want to command that people have not commanded? <laughs> so calm down. Tell your neighbor, say calm down. So, Reverend Victory Be, the senior pastor of favor of anointing, or yeah, favor of anointing ministries, somewhere in the warfare port court will be here with us on Sunday. It's an amazing young man. Very, very amazing. And then um, I've got a good news and that our father, Papa Chidi Okorafo, will be here on Sunday also. The former general superintendent of Assemblies of God Church. So, there's how you dress and get to the gate the ushers will send you back. Look good for Jesus. Don't look like don't look like a condemned a condemned pit. This is the house of God. Dress nice. Look good. So he will be here on Sunday to worship with us. And Sunday is a big day. So get yourself prepared. You know. Get your heart ready. Fix yourself. Fix yourself. And don't forget, we have a deal on Sunday. And what's the deal? 4 p.m. time. So you've got to be here on time if you want to catch up with the move of the Spirit, the Holy Ghost. Be here what time? 4 p.m. 4 p.m. You're not on your way. Break the ties. Defeat the enemy. Silence your oppressors by being here by what time? Say it loud and clear. 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Are you on your way? What happens at 4 p.m.? You're already seated. So I can't wait to have you here on Sunday. It's going to be powerful. It's a gaseous field of power and the Holy Ghost. So tonight I will share on the relationship or the partnership between darkness and Satan. Just pray right now where you are and say, Lord, let your word break into my heart and into my thoughts. While, where you are seated, just speak the word. Lord, let your word, let your word, let your word, let your word, let your word. Let me feel the impact of your word. Let me feel the impact of your word. Let your words silence, silence the echoes and the spell of doubt in my soul. Let your word break into my heart tonight. Wanda 
marvelous are the words of your hands, credit. Wonderful, marvelous are the words of your hands, great is. Wonderful, marvelous are the words of your hands, great is. Kebi koko bine hikala shana bahasa ina makonde melihishi mi mumbo kava la hake nevele hidish hey makome ne kemvele hisa wonderful marvelous are the works. assignment of darkness is to cause confusion. And the capital assignment or job of light is to uncover. To uncover to solve problems. You see, because you don't wander in light. The reason why men wander around it's because they are covered by darkness. It is darkness that makes men wander us. Light is a redeemer. There is, there is no evil darkness cannot, cannot activate in the life, in the life of the earth. This darkness I'm talking about is the reason why we have Boko Haram. This same darkness is the reason why ISIS are they're operating free of charge. This same darkness is the reason why people will be working for their hard earned money. And somebody will be somewhere strategizing on how to, to, to break into the house of an innocent fellow. 
and then to rob them of what took them years to build. There are two sets of people that God will never forgive. And they will always die very, very young. One are prostitutes. The other ones are fraudsters. Any human being that uses these two things to enrich his soul will not live long on it. These are principles. They are ordinance. I said, you see a froster, whether it is internet or rob at gunpoint or whatever it is that has to do with taking money from somebody that is not yours. <laughs> Darkness controls the heart of the dark. Darkness rules over the heart of those who have not been impacted with light. When light is missing in the soul of man, it gives room for total and absolute darkness to ravage. Darkness in the soul of a man is the percentage of Satan in that man. Because the amount of darkness in your soul is what controls the satanic and evil activities that you carry out. somebody is not difficult just have a dark heart it is darkness in your heart that will make the voice of that young girl that is telling you please it's not making sense to you the girl is saying please don't do it you said no that you have to satisfy your urge a six minutes enjoyment to demolish a life and a future of a young girl Judgment awaits such manifestation. The dominion of Satan is established in darkness. And he, he, go, he, he rides on the chariot of darkness to, 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 you know, to, to sustain his government. To pilot his regime. The, re the regime of Satan will never expire or elapse until darkness is folded away. Because Satan depends on darkness to manifest. In case you are here and you have ever raped a young girl before, I'm sorry for your soul. The other day I spoke about the implication of, of laying down on a virgin and make the promises to a virgin. And I said, not even God can deliver you from such evil and abomination you have committed. Because all virgins are eternally married to God. They are God's product. They are the only ones that undeniably are given chance and time. They are given chance and access to God without, without any form of restrictions. When you read the book of Revelation, you will discover that virgins are the closest to the throne. They are closer to God even than angels. Darkness covers the heart of men. Never to think or relate consequence. So all who are dark in heart, they don't, they don't relate consequence. They don't think about consequence. Can you be like Joseph? The Bible says, the Bible said that Potiphar's wife presented her body. When she, when she saw Joseph, you know Joseph is one very, very handsome. Oh God, I, I, don't, want to, I don't want to analyze the look of that guy. But according to theology, it is stated that when women see Joseph from afar, 
they, 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 they got lost after Joseph. Be because of the, the handsome nature, not just the beautiful, the beauty, the beauty in the outward, but the countenance. Joseph has, he has never, he has never displayed a sad attitude at any time. Right inside the prison, Joseph was a smiling machine. Uh, what was he? Smiling machine. That is, at every point, Joseph was laughing. Because if he wasn't laughing, he would have accused God in the prison. If there was no joy in the heart, if you don't barrage your heart with joy, you will accuse God. A heart that lacks joy will accuse God. I know the difference between Joseph and that guy that raped Diana. And if you read their histories, check their ends. Check how they ended and you will discover that there is a difference between light and darkness. There's a difference between light and darkness. Excuse me. It is not until somebody visits a native doctor that you know that somebody is evil. The heart can make somebody a witch. Hear me, hear me, listen to me. The oppression in your heart can make you either a witch or a wizard. When you open your mouth to, to beg somebody bad, you have done the work of a witch. Excuse me, in fact, you have even done more than what a witch would have done. <laughs> because if a witch actually did it, somehow or sometimes, we may doubt it somehow. But if it is done by human beings, especially human houses that are very close to the source. Ah. Do you know how many years it took me to know the implication of living with somebody inside the house? Living with boys. The, this young man here is the last human being that will ever live with me. And the day I get done with him is over. Because I have, over the years, it's never been favorable. Excuse me. <laughs> so the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, it says, for the heart of man, is desperately wicked and a question proceeded out of the mouth of the preacher he said for who can know it who can know it Be because the content of the heart is hidden so just when i smile like this and i hug you it's not a sign of love Because there is a motive behind every laughter. And the motive is superior to the laughter. The motive behind that laughter is, super, is more important than that particular laughter itself. Be careful. between Satan and darkness is that it is the major tool used by Satan to magnify his throne and to enrich his government. It is the major tool used by Satan to magnify his throne and to enrich his government. 
Look here, everyone, if you're hearing the sound of my voice. Nobody on earth is as poor as someone who surrounds himself with dark-hearted people. No matter the money in your hands, you're a poor person. You see, because elevation is a function of the heart. When the heart is not in alignment, it's a problem. The battle we are fighting is not against flesh and blood. It is against something that hides in darkness. It's against something that hides in darkness, including evil thoughts. That's why the Bible says, for the mention of the name of Jesus, he said every knee should bow and every tongue. He said things in heaven, things below and things beneath. And the other day, the, the scripture said, he said, for, he said, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Philippians chapter 6 verse, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. Ephesians 6, 12. Put it on the screen. Go ahead, read. Ephesians 6, verse 12. Yes. For we wrestle not against flesh For and we blood. wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities. But against princi principalities. Against powers. That's not my concern. Against the rulers of darkness now, of this world. Now, my concern is the rulers of darkness. These rulers of darkness are not... They are not they are not invisible entities. They are visible entities that encapsulate themselves in brightness and light that looks as though they are angels of light. Rulers of darkness. Hey, I don't know how to explain this, but you see, rulers of darkness. That is, when you hear rulers of darkness, their domain, their territory, their, their point of exercising dominion is in darkness. Now, the first one mentioned there, principality, functions in darkness. Powers, functions in darkness. The, 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 the container that conveys all of this wickedness is what? Hatred is a manifestation of darkness. And that's why I keep begging people. I said, please, stop being concerned about how many people hate you and how many people love you. Excuse me, can you stop? If Jesus is our imitator, or is, sorry, is the one we are ought to imitate. Then you must learn from his patterns. If you say praise God, I will give you a gift. One of the strongest antics, one of the most powerful antics of Satan in using against, in using against saints is making life free. Making life smooth is an antics. That is, I said one of the antics, one of the antics of Satan is an easy life. That is when you feel all is perfect and rosy, is a trap. You are dancing inside the trap. I heard Pastor, Pastor Ezekiah praying here in the midnight while I was out there communicating with some of my partners abroad. Then I heard him say that, I heard him say, he said, I was privileged to follow Pastor Morris to the hospital. And then he said, when I got there, I saw people whose only prayer were, Father, please give me a second chance. While I was talking and communicating on the phone, that word caught up. 
then I, I felt like asking him, were they Christians or Muslims? And if they were Christians, why are they? Why, why, were, they, why were they found in such, such situations? Why were they found in such unguable situation? Situation that, you know, that is not good for a saint, for a believer. That, that hospital there is full of, is full of Satan's dominion. Satan manifests through even the doctors that work there. Instead of giving somebody tetanus, he went and carried a different injection and gave, gave to the person. And when the person eventually died, you could not even open up to the family to tell the family it was my mistake that killed this woman. But you don't know that many, many people died as a result of doctor's carelessness because Satan will barrage their hearts with darkness. Cover their hearts with too many things. Doctors are one of the most confused people on earth. When they are handling your situation, they are thinking about their family. They are in the, they are in the theater there. They are, they are thinking about their families. And a confused man or woman will kill. People baptize others with their confusion. Men carry confusion that is in them and then baptize it on others. Father, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice that this one shall be delivered from the confusion of others. Others, others confuse. I mean, people confuse. Anybody now can confuse. Excuse me. Can you say praise God? Don't ever, all your life, a, 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 a depraved or depressed mind for direction. You didn't hear me. I said, don't ever do what? Ask a depraved or a, a depressed mind for what? For direction. You, you miss your way. A mind that is depressed cannot cast you somebody. Can't advise somebody. Take advice from a confused person at your own risk. Somebody asked, he said, you are not reading scriptures. I said, I just read one. We, we are not wrestling against flesh and blood. That is the fight, the contention. The, 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 the your opposition is not the, 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 just the physical stature of a man, but something that cannot be seen, which is in the heart. That is the carrier of all darkness. The heart is the domain of either light or darkness. The heart of man is, is the house of either light or, da or darkness. The heart of man. The heart of man. Second Corinthians chapter chapter six verse fourteen. Please put it on the screen and use the other translation. Can you go on? Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Yes. For what fellowship had righteousness with unrighteousness? I need a translation that used the word partnership. Use the translation that used partnership. Can you try NIV? Okay, th th this, this is okay. Use this one. Read on from the screen. Do not be mismatched with unbelievers. Yes. For what partnership For is what there? For what partnership is there? Between, between righteousness and lawlessness. Or or what, what fellowship does light have with darkness? Partnership. The 
this, this brings me to the point of telling you that no matter how skillful somebody is, if you notice that the percentage of darkness in that man is so, is so much, don't partner, don't partner with, his, with his skill and, and, and believe that you will escape his participation. You can't partner with the ministry and escape the baptism of that ministry. You can't partner with Elijah and escape the influence of this commission. There is a way you reason the moment you become a member of this place. Every environment has her thoughts. Nobody leaves Ajegule to Leki and wants to go back to Ajegule. He would be begging the auntie, auntie, please let, let me stay for just two weeks. Auntie will say, no, you have to go back. Auntie, auntie is, it's not like that. Auntie say, please, you have to go back. Because that is a typical, you know, difference between heaven and hell. can lie down. On, there are parts of Lekki where you can lie down on the floor and then get up and discover that there is no stain on your body. But excuse me, the, the neatest place in Ojo Legba or Okokomako or eh, Ejibo. No, no, I'm talking about Lagos. The neatest place there, you can't, you can't put your knees down. So, <laughs> what's the fellowship between <laughs> Lekki breed? And when you see children from Lekki and you see children from Ojo Legba, you will know it. It's not, it's not hidden. Even in the head structure, is the, the, the difference is clear. The, the way the head is positioned, and then the. the <laughs> because sometimes people's head sometimes interprets the value of, that con of the contents inside. There's a, there's a way I will look at your head and believe that that head cannot produce. It's okay, I forgive you. Now, those of us who have big head, glory to God. It doesn't make us less than a human being, but <laughs> shout hallelujah. What fellowship is righteousness and unrighteousness? What is the gospel act is doing with, with, with a secular musician? Why would a gospel artist be featuring a secular musician in his album? But today, they share beats. They share beats. They share lyrics. Flavor is singing Christian song. A Christian a musician is singing Flavor song. There are some music Flavor song. You will believe, you believe this, this one is... It's a born again singing. Especially the song he sang with that guy in like, from Liberia. Eh? That the blind guy from Liberia. Lord, you are the most high. It's a praise and worship song in church now. What has righteousness got to do with your righteousness, with lawlessness? I love that translation for using the word lawlessness. A lawless believer is a no standing believer. He's a believer that has no stand. To be lawless is very, very easy. Man go be in the king fall up in the sire below What is a character of a believer doing with the character of an unbeliever? You know, we are in a very we are in a crucial time of the church. We are in a crucial, a crucial age of the church. Are you aware? Are you aware that right now you can't even tell the difference between the, 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 the genuine men of God and the fake men of God because there is a collab right now. But the, gen, the genuine are preaching for the fake. The fake are preaching for the genuine. So you, there is a mix-up in the kingdom. You can't even tell which is real and which is fake anymore. 
The person you called fake just last week is already hosting one of the fathers. One of the fathers is endorsing him. The other one you call fake, last two months he hosted one of a father that is genuine. And that one is already because there is a collab partnership between light and darkness. And the Bible says, For what fellowship? What fellowship has light and darkness? You don't know that any man of God that comes here has endorsed this ministry. When I go to preach anywhere, I have endorsed that ministry. Each time I go there, I have endorsed. You don't know the contact that ordinary Reverend David Iboli holding my hands and lifting up my hands. You don't know the contact that picture has brought to me. That they say, Dominion City General Overseer held the hand of Zebulon. Lifted it up. It's on social media. Just that picture alone. People ask you, is it, is it real or Photoshop? I said, check it yourself. I'll send you the link to the video so you watch. And what happens when we endorse the ones we are supposed to rebuke? It is called partnership. The only entity that is hot, even though God created darkness and light. He created darkness that the, the, the people of this world that's why now you do you see is there any club they do in the daytime? Is there anywhere on earth where they do club in the afternoon? What time do you do you see club? From what time? From what time? It's not even night. What time? Seven o'clock they will tell you it has not started because the night vigil. They say, ah, don't worry, they are coming. Okay, is it night vigil we are doing? Those are same people. That, that's, each time I'm driving home and I see, I see cars parked, you know, by the roadside. In the clubs there. I'll be asking myself, these ones, are they Christians or Muslims? They are all Christians. Some of them are deacons and deaconess. Some of them are ministers. Fellowshipping with darkness. Some of them will get drunk there. What's even a Christian doing in club? How can a Christian feel so comfortable seated in club and drinking? You sit down inside the club and then you begin to download, download, down, download and then when you get done, to go home now, you begin to stagger. Did you not know you will stagger? They say, enter your car. You began looking for another person's car to enter. That's not your car, sir. Because darkness will lead to staggering. Darkness will lead to confusion. The capital job of darkness is to set men in confusion. In deep confusion. In case you don't know. Put off your light at home and begin searching for your phone. And you will know how terrible, how grievous darkness can be. And when you are done, when you are, done, when you are tired looking for the phone, go and switch on the light. And it will not take you one second to find where the phone is. The evil of darkness. The evil of darkness. Pray for your children that, that Satan will never corrupt their heart with darkness. Because no matter who you are, if you have a child that is dark in the heart, that child will baptize you. That child will baptize you with the product of that darkness. How? Somebody must say that is the, that's the mother of that, child, that boy. That's the father of that boy. It's better not to have a child at all than to have a child you can't control. A child you cannot talk to. He said, for what has light to do with darkness? When light partners with darkness, it is a sign that the end has finally come. And that's the age we are. The age where we don't even know which one is light anymore. 
teachings are coming from left, right, center, everywhere. Different teachings and different, different doctrines and different, different interpretations of the scriptures. Everyone today wants to interpret the scripture to suit his or her understanding. Be careful. A few days ago, some, a, a young man from Cameroon sent me a message and said, I've been scared to talk to you, but I feel I need to host you. I need to host you. I said, well, that's nice. Where? He said, Cameroon. I said, where in Cameroon? He said, Douala. I said, okay. I asked him, do you know such a person? He said, yes. I said, that's my son. Get in touch with him. When you get in touch with him, he will call me to tell me that you want to host me because you don't break rounds. When you have given people place, allow them to function in the place you have given them. Don't drag the place with them. I can't communicate with you when I have someone representing me in your country. If I have somebody in Pohakot that is a son, I can't go to Pohakot until, you know, you speak to that particular person. That, that of course, that, that, that's the mystery of a place. Somebody say a place. So my son called me and said, Daddy, you cannot go there. I said, why? He said, the spiritual father of that guy. I said, what happened to him? He said, he's from Susan country. He said, he the name of the man. I checked on YouTube. And I saw the name. I saw the man. I listened one, two, three, five, ten minutes of his sermon. So I called the guy and I told him, I said, flag off the program. That is, sorry, bring down the program. I'm not, I won't be able to come. So he said, what? So I told him, have you read my post? I dropped about 2018. I posted on Relevant by Association. It's a long topic. I said, have you read it? He said, no. I said, go and study it. I said, are you aware that one picture with a wrong man can close all your doors? Relevant by association. I said, we are not saints, but we still have small integrity to protect. And we cannot jeopardize it because we need platform. I don't even need platform. If I need platform, I'll create it. If I leave this pulpit now, I'll drop message to three persons. I'm out. I'm out. There's a meeting upcoming in Pohakot. One of my daughter here has been, has been the one trying to work it out. And I'm still on it. I would have gone for that meeting. Somebody here said she saw the poster. Somebody posted it online. I don't know who posted. And then I said, I had intention of going for that meeting. But why I began having double heart was the fact, the point where I discovered that the church is owned by a woman. Like I've flown, I've flown from here to go preach for a, a general in the army in Entebbe, that is Uganda. And then I got to Uganda, they came picked me. We got down to the church premises only to discover that the man talking with me is not the is not the real owner of the church. The real owner of the church is the wife. But just a way to get they know that I have this. But believing that there's no way you can fly all the way from Nigeria, get here and said he will not preach. So by the time I got there, I said, take me to the hotel first. Let me pray. He took me to the hotel. I prayed. Then I asked God, I said, Father, you know you had warned me about preaching for women. Women ministries. I did before. I did that. That should be, you know, Esther Ogubio. I think I did that. That should be about five, five six years ago. Oh, my God. When I finished that program, I got home. A woman descended inside my room and said, I want you to be my 
my spouse. As if that was not enough, they came in mass in their numbers asking me to choose one that they came from Zuzu Water. I said, Is that how you share husbands, uh, wives, to any guest speaker that come to preach in your place? So from then, I stopped preaching for prophetess, especially prophetess. Except I know your root. And except I am sure of your father. That is your spiritual father, your mentorship. For what fellowship has righteousness and what? What fellowship has righteousness and lawlessness? What partnership, you know, what partnership is, is, is you know, lawlessness and righteousness? And then what fellowship is, is light and darkness. You can't bring them together. Is that possible? Can you keep fire and water at the same place? No, it's, it's impossible. Can you light fire inside the, inside the water? It will take the help of something, a particular chemical. The capital job of light is to reveal a problem, to open it up, to reveal problem that darkness has hidden. Problem that darkness has hidden. Problems that darkness has hidden. Excuse me, tell your neighbor, say, barrage your heart with revelation. Barrage it with light. Because the mind cannot be more useful. It cannot be more useful beyond the impartation of light in it. How do we discover darkness? One of the capital ways we discover dark darkness is by indolence. By what? Indolence. Laziness. Or one of the things that point out darkness in the life of a man is darkness, is, is, is laziness and indolence. Somebody. Lazy, lazy, lazy mind, lazy ideology, lazy thought, lazy behavior, lazy everything. If I leave ministry today, I would do better. In case you don't know. I, I, I'm a very good. Be, I'm a come. I'm a hustler. It, it's ministry that is keeping me down because if I leave ministry today, I will. I will. Eh, airport will know me. All immigration staff they will all know me because every week I will be on the go. What is it going for? Somebody say business. The earth is not for children. Know when you need to go up. Know when you, when, where you are is inspired. Know when you need to add up more speed to your, to your legs. The consciousness of future is only in light. Men can only be conscious of future only when they wear light as, the, as an apparel. When light become a glory, an apparel. Whatever is evil, whatever is negative, has foundation in darkness. There is a covenant partnership between Satan and darkness. That is why he uses the night to achieve all his his goals. But can I tell you one very difficult and hidden truth? Can I tell you? Look up. Let me tell you something. Do you know that the aspect, I don't want to come down, the aspect of Lucifer that makes people rich is encapsulated in books.
let me repeat. Are you aware that the, only, the aspect of Lucifer that makes people rich is encapsulated in what? In books. That is, you, you won't find it. Relevance in Lucifer can only be found in books. In knowledge. Relevance in God can only also be found where? In books. In knowledge. In intelligence. So what Satan does is to blind the eyes of your understanding. To make your eyes dim. Do you know some people carry Bible like this to read? And they cannot understand anything that is written in the Bible. Are you aware? Are you aware that there are people that open the Bible? And from reading one chapter, two chapter, three chapter, ask them about one hour after. What did you study? They can't remember anything. Because Satan has made their mentality what? Second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 3. But if our gospel be hid, if this gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. The gospel can only be hid to them who are lost. And can I tell you the mystery of a lost soul? A man that is blind, that is living in darkness. Don't forget that blindness is synonymous to what? To darkness. So, a, a man that is blind is counted to be lost. A blind man doesn't exist. A man whose eyes are dimmed doesn't what? It doesn't exist. We exist in our sight. Existence is more in sight than in living. It is what you see that keeps you alive. The abundance of the eyes is what either kills or keeps alive. Don't accept the impartation of darkness in your eyes. But if the gospel be hid, it is hid to them who are lost. Verse 4. In whom the God of, In this, whom world, the God of this world, who is that God? Satan the devil. Had blinded the minds of Satan the devil in partnership with darkness. Wait and, you know, blinded the understanding. Blinded the hearts of the sons and the daughters of God. Which believe not. Which believe not. So that is what brings... That's what brings what? That's what brings doubt into the house. So a believer can be inside the church and be doubting God because he is already lost. Somebody say lost. He's lost already. He's lost because the God of this world had blinded his understanding. He said, he said in whom the God of this world had blinded the, the, the minds of them which believe not. Less the light. So if there is no light. What is there? It's a less, which means, but not for, but not for, but not for. It's a less, less the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine upon them. So we cannot even enjoy the totality of our salvation. Why? Because darkness has taken over the entire heart. People in church are not... 90% of the church is not, I'm telling you, they are not, they, there is no Christ-like behavior. There is no Christ-like attitude. We don't even understand the power of tolerance. So where is Christ in our midst? If you don't know how to absorb the pain from a brother, from a sister inside the same church with you, is it, is it, the God, is it Jesus you are not prepared to receive? You don't welcome Jesus like this. You welcome him from the, from the, from the, you know. Character is, is what appears before God. It is character that presents you before God, not gift. Gift, the gift of man. I don't even know how to classify this. But the gift of man is not as important as the character of a man. Gift is charismatism. Character it is, is, the, is the pattern of thought. The ideology 
that has your life and destiny. I know I'm in a quite bon state where people really believe the word of God. They celebrate prophecy more. I am very, very loaded and ready for prophecy. But I cannot prophesy to dark heart because a dark heart is a stony heart. It's a stony ground. If you lay prophecy on that heart, it will bounce back. Prophecy cannot be fulfilled in a dark heart. Prophecy cannot be fulfilled in a dark heart. Light is a symbol of knowledge. And then, the spirit of sin functions through ignorance. That thing you call sin is more in ignorance. I say sin is more in what? In ignorance. That is, if you are ignorant, you are already a sinner. Without acting anything, you are already a sinner. That the fact that you are ignorant, you are already a sinner. The Bible says at the age of 12, Jesus was already in the, in the synagogue, arguing scriptures with the with the, the the lawyers the professors the pharisees so intelligence is not a product of age a young child will disgrace you in the public if you try to mess yourself up thinking because you are aged you are muscular your bodybuilding does not interpret your value. It is your content. And then many a times your content is what determines your level of brightness. You see, man is like... The, can I tell you the difference between gods on earth and man and normal human being? Eh? I mean, Psalms chapter, is it 80, 89 verse 2? Eh? That the Bible says that we are gods. Is it 89 or 86? Huh? Verse 6. 89 verse 6. Can you put it on the screen? Let me tell you the difference between these gods and ordinary human beings. Eighty-two verse 6. Okay. I have said. I have said. He are God. Yeah, are God. And all of you are children of the Most High. Good. Now, the difference between this small letter G O D S and a normal human being is the ideology that controls the man. Many of us have defeated mentalities. So how do we rule? We, you know, I'm a I'm, I'm a prophet. I've been in the prophetic ministry now for almost 11 years. Prophetic ministry. For almost 11 years. Since 2009. 2009 till now. Jack. How many years? Eh? How many? Eh? 13 years. So I've been in the prophetic ministry now for 13 years. Like I've been doing prophecy for 13 years now. <laughs> Non-stop. That is every week. There's no week I don't do prophecy from tonight till now. And many people I have prophesied to, they are dead. Many people I use prophecy to bring together as husband and wife, they have divorced. Yes, because you don't use prophecy to join people, especially men who who don't have the compatibility to be together. After prophecy concerning marriage, you have to check the level of what? Compatibility and acceptance. Bara, 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 bara. Bara, bara. Chukudi, 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 chukudi. Elizabeth, you are to be together as husband and wife. 
Don't rush it. Tell God I have heard. Now, you have passed the first test. Enter into the second. And what is the second? Check compatibility. Because you will not live with the spirit in the house. Yes, 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 it's true. She's the one, she's the one. Holy, holy, holy. My, my dear, marriage is beyond holy. That is a journey, a corrupt journey. A, <laughs> Everything David felt was about marriage. It has changed. It's high. Oti Claire, Oti Claire. Right now, Oti Claire. Yoruba person say, Oti Claire, Oti Claire. He is seeing very, very well now. Before, he was assuming. Right now, is a reality. <laughs> Oti Claire. You will never know how it feels until you enter. It's another, it's another, it's another world entirely. Marriage is not it. It's outside this earth. You wake up one morning, receive serious slap from your wife. You say, what happened? Man? Husband, give you one serious slap. What's the problem? He say, God, I told you, I said, you're not ready for marriage. He said, why? I said, excuse me, you don't, what? I, I, I forgot what I asked her to do. And um, she couldn't do it well. I said, I, I how will you marry? So I asked her, I said, do you know, even know how to press toothpaste? Because <laughs> in case you don't know, these things are things that cause problem in marriage. You know, there's a way you don't hold toothpaste to press. If you're the type that will use the restroom and forget to flush, you're not ready yet for marriage. Because you're going to divorce anytime soon. People don't have patience. If you do it the first time, you say, honey, don't worry, don't worry. I would. Second time, honey, don't worry. The third time, honey, but why did you deflush the seed? The fifth time, it's not only again, it's what you, what you may receive may be two, two by two. If you're not careful. That's if it is not built. The essence of the coming of Jesus is to reveal the total light and to give direction to our paths. John chapter eight, 14, uh, John chapter eight, verse twelve. The essence of His coming is to reveal the light of our lives. In give light, in order to give light to our paths, to light up our paths. John eight twelve. John eight twelve. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in shall darkness. Shall not walk in darkness. But shall have the light of life. Shall have the light of life. Every life has a light. Discover the life, the light of your life, and your relevance shall be in place. The relevance of every life is attached to the light of that life. Until a life discovers her light. Doom will be the destiny of that life. God expects us to make search of our lights. Because on earth, light rules. Darkness is evil. Excuse me. Can I say that again? I said darkness is what? It's evil. Nothing is as evil as darkness. Surrounding yourself with darkness. And then one of the ways to attract darkness to your life, I've, I've just told you, is, is, by, is by accepting mental laziness. Mental laziness. Because the moment you're lazy, you'll be wearied. Life will always weary a lazy man. And I do mine. Can never be free from weariness. Come on, get busy. Get busy. 
Almost all the revelation I wrote yesterday, including I wrote three chapters of a book by the roadside. That is, I packed by the roadside to get intelligence that I wrote yesterday. Some of you that read on, that read on, don't be too sweet. The, the danger of being too sweet. I wrote that piece right inside my car. I opened the rooftop, lay down, and I was writing. I finished. I still wrote another one, two on the road. I can calculate that I spent about two hours of my time by the roadside doing writing. You see, because if you're not busy, Satan will give you a job. If you're not busy, you'll be given a job. And you may not like the job you would get. You may not like it. You may not like it. Light makes men, men busy. Light is an impartation that gives men jobs. Relevant jobs, important jobs. You can't have light in your soul and not have something to invent. If government refuses to give you a job, create a job for yourself. Create a work, rather. Create a work. One day, I nearly flogged my son up because I woke up to see him in the house by 10 a.m. And I felt like, I said, what is this? I said, no, I can't be here. I, I, as I'm coming out of my room now to see you, I've already written some things. I speak three times every week, majorly. Apart from the things I drop on social media and some other piece. Alright? How do you expect me to keep having enough ruling revelations and vital informations that can help your heart if I don't if I don't, if I don't give my time to, to what? To studies. cannot stay in this house again every month. Because if you continue this way, one day you, you plot my kidnap. It's a very dangerous thing to keep somebody in the house doing nothing. No. I'm telling you the truth. There is, no, there is no realm of evil that cannot that such a person cannot accomplish. The dominion of Satan is in the heart of lazy men. I do minds. No matter how bad it is, no matter how bad it is, keep the mind focused. Keep the mind busy. Keep the mind imparted. Keep the mind imparted. Keep the mind imparted no matter how bad. have job, learn skills. Ask somebody to give me money to go and that you want to learn a particular trade. Trade that you will not learn and come back and sit at home. The kind of trade that the moment as you're rounding up, you're already doing doing something for people to get small, small. In fact, while you're still working, you're, you're making your own money from the house. What I do to gather to gather small small money. Oh, you think I have a tree at the back of the house in a uh, thousand? Where money drops from? Eh, an idle mind will always will always stumble on on bad luck and failure. That is. We'll always venture into unfruitful journeys. Tumble into, you know, journeys, unprofitable journeys. The dominion of Satan is in an idle mind. Don't house people and leave them to be idle at all. I beg of you. Even you yourself, you're not too big to be used by Satan. 
You're not too big to be used by Satan. You're not too big to communicate with Satan one on one. That's your heart. Satan can sit in that heart. Command you on what to do. Huh? Walk heals. Walk does what? Heals, heals. That is it. It heals. H e a a l s. It heals. Walk rescues. Darkness will settle in a heart that is not busy. God expected Adam to create a job for Eve. After he would have created a job for Adam. But Adam said, I need a housewife. And he saw the evil of housewife. All the men that married and want their wives to be idle and without money, they will always die before their wives. If it is not darkness in your heart, why are you scared that your wife will be richer than you? Excuse me. If my wife is richer than me, it's a plus. We don't have, there is no measurements. It's a fickle mentality to believe that you must be richer than your wife. Just be well to do. Her own progress is not your business. It is a wizardry behavior to be wishing your wife to go down while you go up. You're a wizard. Any man that, that expects the wife to be, to be below is a wizard. God says submit to, the, to your husband. God did not say wife must be lower in standard, lower in finance. Look, God did not give such commandments. He says submit. It means the woman have, get a, acquire everything you want to acquire, but bring it to the feet of your ogre. Submit it. If they will not submit, it's your own wife who will not submit. Not every woman. There are women I have seen over the years that submit everything they have gathered to their wives, to their husbands. You know, insecurity. Insecurity. Men, men are not smiling at all. But it's not my fault. I have to tell you the truth. Insecurity. And now we'll get you is tomorrow. Account number straight. <laughs> submit it. Women submit to your husband. He didn't say women be 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 below your husband. No, that's a wrong ideology. It's a wrong mentality. Your wife can own a company and you work as a manager in the company. It's not wrong. If the scripture is not is if the scripture is, is not broken, son, I hope I'm not hurting your feelings. <laughs> he said, <laughs> yeah, you can be the managing director of your wives. If the scripture is not a lie, then the scripture have declared before now that the two shall become one. So why are you trying to? Hmm. Empower your wife. So men are scared of empowering their wives because they feel if my wife gets money now, she will not be submissive. A woman who will not be submissive, both in poverty or in riches, she will not be submissive. It's a nature. Pride will to not in God, God, I know, I know, I know how tomorrow will be. I'm already seeing the prophets. The vision is very clear now. <laughs> Women are not called to be poor. They are not called to be housewives. 
they are called to be support systems. Future wife. Eh? Pastor Morris has shown for future wife. <laughs> now, now let's let's get down to the business. Cause, cause can't be prevalent. Cause can't be prevalent where there is light. That is, cause cannot be visible where there is light. You only lay causes in darkness. Cause only comes on men who are dark in heart. As we are seated now, you know what decides if we are embodiment of light or darkness? You know what decides it? The content of your heart as you are seated now. What you are thinking against your brother, your sister, your neighbor, your pastor, your friend, your colleague is what decides, is what determines if you are an embodiment of light or an embodiment of what? Darkness. That's why the Bible says, he said, keep your heart with all diligence. He said, for out of it commit issues of life. And you don't separate life from light. Protect your heart with all diligence. For out of it commit issues of life. John chapter 1. From verse number one, declare that Jesus is the light. So all who don't have Jesus will not have the consciousness of this light we are talking about. Light is a revelation. Light is a revelation. Now, the, the only man who did not acquire his light when he came to the earth is Jesus. Because he came as a living light. Every other man who came to this earth acquired his own, he, he, he acquired light. Both in the New Testament and the Old Testament, they all acquired light. They all acquired light. They all acquired light. But light and darkness were both created by God. But for different purposes, different reasons. How did I know that darkness was created by God? Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. Isaiah 45, verse 7. Can you say, Praise God? Let me give you a gift. It is the light of God in your soul that reveals your true work. It is the light of God in your soul that reveals the work of your life. That is the work. You are supposed to walk. Every man, do, people are doing different kind of works, but there is something you were born to die for. And that thing can only be revealed by the light that is impacted in your soul. The light. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. Yes. I make peace and create, create evil. evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Now, the good manifest in the day. The evil has the night as her habitation. The most terrible accident on earth happens at night. Can you imagine that road is free? You still had accident. My, my apologies to the family of the young man who died yesterday, Mr. Ob is it Obong, they call him. Obong, Iqba, Iqba, something, something, Iqba, Iqba, something. Yesterday is, was one of the most tragic day of my life. I was heading home and then it's about after two to three. Is it after two? You were not done with prayer when I left. No, they were done with prayers. Yeah, they were done with prayers. Far done. After three, I left here. To, to three. And then by two lane, I just heard the sound. Hi. By the time I looked through my side mirror, 
I noticed that the car that was following me at the back was no more. So I parked. When I parked, the car had somersaulted for more than five times, broke the pole. That is the big, that light pole. Turned from this side of the road as if you're going to fall in. Went to the other side just by my grill, sit out, uh, gas plant. Rushing to come and see, by, by, by the time I was even there, I'm sorry to say, there was nothing anymore in the brain. That is, is like they use stuff to carve all the white stuff, the brain, the whole pieces. He just finished ministry. I mean, they just finished ministry. Because the owner of the car is, is a young man. I think he's popular in Aquaibo. It's called Johnny Sachs. Yeah, Johnny Sachs. He's, in, he's into music. Huh? He's a saxophonist, yes, Johnny Sachs. That's his, his PA, his right hand man, his. The minister together. According to him, he said he gave the guy the car to, to he, the guy dropped him and then his own car. And then asked that he, he should take the car with him. Hence, it is late. And he should go home with it. Tomorrow he can come with the car. And where he was supposed to go, he bought, he bought it them. Eh? That is now, you drop somebody at this roundabout, this new roundabout that leads to the new ring road. No go. He dropped the ogre there, which is the Johnny Sachs. And then was supposed to proceed to Iboti them. The, the question the Johnny Sachs is asking is, how did he now, what now took him from the direction that was supposed by that time of the night of 2 a.m.? What now took him from that side heading towards Tule? I told that guy, I said, this is, you are about to blow in a quiet monster, so they have kept this one for you. The next thing they will announce now is that you have used, because it's your car. And then why did, by this time of the night, why didn't you ask him to sleep in your house? Very young boy, talented. I'm told he has authored two books. He just did birthday on Saturday. I, I couldn't leave them because, you know, when both the fiancé, Abi, the girl, Abi, what, and the, the sisters, when all of them came, it became a sanctuary of tears. I had to begin holding people. While I was holding them, I saw the soul of that guy wandering about. I had to tell David, I said, hold on. I will call you back. I ended the call. I checked and then I saw that boy so walking about. He would just walk, sit down on the, that on the, yes. He would sit down. He, he's just restless. I was, I was looking at him. He, he would stand up from there. He would walk this way. He would stand, he would be looking at people. I could literally see that this boy is not happy. Finished service that evening. They closed late. This hilltop by a back road. Look, listen to me. You see the way you go out every day and come back home. And you feel God is not good to you. I want you to understand something that this life is not to who is careful. It's not about how careful and how skillful you are. The message of God is what has kept you. I saw somebody. I, I couldn't leave. It was my car we used to carry some of them. Blood all over the body. I followed them to the mutual. Stayed with them there. Till they deposited the, the body. I left. I came back here around after. Around 6. To 6. I 
couldn't go home to sleep because I, the, the, the picture of how his soul was behaving like you see he would, he would sit here the next minute you see him he, standing, he would stand here he would put the hand this way when the eldest sister even came and began shouting at their guy has come at their guys, you know, the eldest sister began shouting I saw where he, he began tears began coming out of the eyes he wishes he could just come back and say to them what took him from the direction he was supposed to go to two lanes the worst kind of death where you die with your your brain pieces and then you're asking you see, nobody's on the road the road is free you are not drunk he's coming from church his, his eyes are very clear okay. manipulation the works of darkness the operations of darkness and then I tell you just open your mouth in one minute I said, Lord, 2022 will not see my end. Speak it. Pray also for your family. Pray for your brothers. Pray for your sisters. Just in one minute, darkness, you will not eat up my loved ones. Darkness, you will not take my life. Go ahead and speak that word right now. You have a few seconds to pray. Just speak that word. Speak that word. Speak that word. Shabine kote bike ketu la hizale. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Take your seat. Till this evening, I, I won't stop seeing that boy so. It's not in the body, it's his soul. And the way he was restless. You know, in his word, he was saying, Hi. Hi. I, would have, I wouldn't have come out. I wouldn't have come out. I wouldn't have come out. That was just a confession in his soul. I know it's always coming late. It comes when the, the evil is already. All who partner with Jesus will shine with him in glory. The capital job of conversion, the capital job of the Holy Spirit after conversion is to enlighten the souls of men and women. God believes he has raised you from the clouds of darkness into his marvelous light when he impacts your heart with the right understanding. Having a right thinking is another way of being impacted with light. All who have their light in place will not miss future. a question. This darkness, is there no way darkness can be scraped out for every season to be day? Because you won't, you will have very few evil on earth if every now and then it is bright. All who do evil, they master the night first. E evil is an event of the night. Evil is an activity of the night. I mean, gruesome evil are mostly carried out when? Satan blinds your eyes so that you don't you don't know the scriptures so that you don't know God so he can keep ruling over you 
So you can, it can keep ruling over you. Be careful of lawless living. Be very, very careful of lawless living. Because you see this heart. came to me and told me. He said, Zebulon, you need to leave Aquaibon State for at least five months. I said, that is the way you use, that's the method you use in ejecting people out of their territories. And guess what happens? The moment you leave for that five months, you won't have the love to come back again. You will believe this place is a place of suffering. If I leave here to Brazil to preach for two months, I won't want to come back again. Excuse me, because the moment I leave, my body will change. My face will change. Everything about me will change. And then, how will I desire to come back? So Satan uses temporal, temporal, temporal comfort, structured comfort, to eject people from their territories. I said Satan uses what? Temporal, structured comfort to do what? To eject people from their what? Territories. Fight laziness. Fight indolence. You are a member of this church. You can go for evangelism. If you don't have anywhere to go, carry your Bible. Go out, win souls. It's a job. If they ask you as an employer, tell them, God. Because the day will pay you. You won't. You won't. You, 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 you. Oh, God. His check, his check, he doesn't put name at the back. He's called an open check. I beg you in the name of God. Keep yourself busy. Keep yourself busy. Keep yourself busy. Yourself busy. In Ephesians chapter, chapter 5 verse, verse 11. Ephesians 5.11. The Bible says, take no part in unfruitful, in unfruitful works of darkness. Don't take part. Ephesians chapter 5, verse. Ephesians 5, verse number 11. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful Don't have fellowship with, unfru darkness. with the unfruitful works of darkness. But rather reprove, reprove them. them. Don't have fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Do you know what that means? Don't relate. Don't make joining. That is that. Don't compromise. Can you say praise God? Let me give you the last blessing. It's not loud enough. Maybe I should leave it. Darkness in the heart will reflect in both character and in achievement. In summary, in summary, choose the path of light so you can stay alive because darkness has no future. Those who have future will live with light and dwell in light and eternal. Grace is given only to those whose heart is impacted with light. Put on your light. Why is everybody saying Jesus? You didn't get your this thing. Please, we have just we have just two minutes to leave this place. Come and put on this thing. 
Those of you online following this broadcast, do your best right now. Get your lights. Light up your destiny. Light up your destiny now. As you have let, if you have lighting that candle now, begin to speak. Send darkness out packing now from your life. Declare darkness, I give you quick notice. Come, come and light here. Command that darkness right now. Cause darkness. Cause darkness. Cause darkness now. Open your mouth and cause darkness. If you don't cause it, it will stay. Open your mouth. Say it to it. Let darkness hear that you are not interested in that in that in that connection. Let darkness know that you're not interested. Send darkness packing. Send it packing. Send darkness packing. I can't hear your voice. I'm speaking only to those who believe. Wherever darkness is found around your life, whoever is an embodiment of darkness around your family, send them out right now. Every ideology of darkness. Make prophetic declaration against darkness. Shake bina keku kaka na pataya. Open your mouth. If your mouth is open, you will not dwell in darkness again. Every intimidation of darkness around your life, destroy that intimidation. Cause that perplexity. Cause that evil right now. Let the covenant of light come to stay in your family. Somebody bring that covenant to stay. As you're praying, pray for yourself. Lord, I receive light in my heart. I receive impartation of light. In my heart. Satan will not fellowship with my thought again. I resist every form of demonic instruction. Every form of demonic instruction. I command destruction right now to, to be taken away from my heart. Let darkness be destroyed, be devoured. Let darkness be devoured. Darkness be devoured. Mopina Saya Balata. I wish you can pray like the way I'm doing. You will see the results soon. Lord, give me the grace to live above darkness. Let me live above darkness. Every dark thought, dark thought, dark 
imagination, dark ideology, dark perception, dark reasoning. I command it to get out of my life. Open your mouth and pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus, my name we pray. Say that amen like a believer. Raise one side of your hand. Use your right hand to hold the decision. Raise your left hand. Lord, I, I prophesy over the lives of your children. Bring it down. Everyone whose heart is open. You, you told me that you want to reveal the abundance of the earth to me, but I should impact their heart first with light. You told me that, you, you see, I had a revelation where the earth, you know, became a, a deserted place. I saw people died. But you see, in this mass death, I saw, some people still survived it. Coronavirus came and claimed do you know how many people that died through coronavirus? More than, more than 10 million people. More than 10 million people died through coronavirus. And some people still lived. It means plague is not born to take everybody. Plague is not birth to take everybody. I strengthen your soul. I empower your soul to fight every negative battle in the name of Jesus. I decree right now, receive light in your soul. Let the weapons of light right now be given to you. I command light to be barraged in your hearts. Somebody receive the illumination of brightness. I command the ability to invent things right now to take place. said the Lord, you will not be used by Satan. You will not be used by Satan to accomplish any assignment. You will not hate anybody without a cause. You will not fight against people who are innocent. You will not raise sword against innocent people. From today, as you're standing here lifting up your hands, Having that light in your hands. The Bible says, for if you are obedient, and if you are willing, obedience is very important. You heard carry light and you carried. That light in your hands, may it, may it take a journey right now to your father's compound. May that light go to the compound where you live in the city. Every form of darkness in your neighborhood, let that light roll them up right now. If you believe the Lord and you believe this prayer, I cause every form of darkness to disappear. Somebody say elevation by light. Elevation through light. Elevation in light. Say the Lord, I should prophesy your elevation. Carry that light, get your phone, get a sacrifice, and come before the altar. Let me speak into the dark part of your life. Please, this program is a special program, and when you hear me say carry seed, I want you to wound yourself in it. Those of you who feel I'm a Sunday school teacher talking to you, you will eat the fruit of that, concept, that um, perception and that thought. But those of you who know who is standing here to speak to you, you will understand the strength to believe and to obey. Your obedience is very important. It's more important than even coming to church. It's not being in church that matters. 
get a sacrifice, wound yourself, go beyond yourself. That is, discomfort yourself to stand before me now. Lift it up at the same time with that phone, in the hand where you have that phone. Lift it up. Your right hand, put the candle in your left hand. Lift it up. Somebody said to me, my son in Zambia, he said, Daddy. I said, Yes. He said, Have you asked why I am not, why I kept your picture on my wall cover, my cover page? on Facebook for six years now. He said, have you ever asked why? Have you ever wondered? I said, no. Maybe I feel it's a normal thing. For seven years now, that boy has my picture as a wall cover. Co cover. He said, that is my tight to you. When anybody asks me, I tell them about you. And I will not doubt, I will not I will not deny the fact that I've had more than, more than, power, more than six powerful um, contacts in Zambia, including, including members of parliament from him as a result of war, as a result of a Facebook call. He said, I'm giving that to you as a what? As a tithe. I have many social media. I need to give one to God. When this one is too old, I will change and put another picture. Still you. Be intentional about your pursuit. Lift up that sacrifice and lift up that phone. I speak to your helpers who are in darkness. Who have, no, who have been looking for you yet cannot find you. You are around them yet they can't see you. You talk to them yet they cannot see you. You relate with them yet they cannot. As that light is in your hands, I ride on the chariot of that sacrifice now, not later. Now. And I command the eyes of his understanding to be opened. I command the eyes of our understanding to be open. Yes, Six days was used in creating heavens and the earth. One month is too big for the Lord. I saw a guy making mockery of men of God. He said, the man of God told you that this year will be a year of peace. And it has not come to pass. And he was making mockery of it. And I laughed. I said, the things of the spirit, they look so, they look stupid to the canal. Imagine you still have one whole month and you're making mockery of somebody. Does it take, does it take one day to, to change somebody's life? You can leave your house poor and then not even come back to that compound. They said, leave you and go. He said, what am I picking? You, can, you left your house on Wednesday, on Friday. They said, go back and pick some. He said, no, no, no I, I don't have need. I saw a guy that went into programming, computer programming, in India, in New, is it New Delhi they call New Delhi. He went into that and made a total amount of about one point something million dollars and bought a house in Dubai. You know, house in Dubai, they don't, it's not just about, they can sell three bedroom inside an apartment. You are living together, but that house is your own. He bought, a, this, this guy left Nigeria, it's not up to four months. He's, he's into this computer, it's computer programming, they call it. While he was sharing the testimony with his pastor, in um, Umaya. He told the pastor, he was sharing it, he said, 
that he cannot explain what happened. But he knew that before he left, he served God 12 years under that ministry. God has a way of paying people. Can I light up the heart of your helpers? If you believe the word of God right now, in the name that is above every other name, let near success syndrome come to an end. If there is somebody here who has somebody, whether in Abuja or anywhere, that is looking for favor from the person, whether this person is a politician, or so, the Lord said I should tell you, the moment service closed now, he said, go to Angel Base with the minimum seed of a thousand naira. He said, drop it there. Mention the name of the person. He said, just go. He said, I should assure you that before the year ends, he will use both known and unknown faces to bring you out of poverty. Amen. You shall be celebrated. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let me touch you. Please screen the account number on the screen. God bless you. Put it in my hands. God bless you. God bless you. Let me just touch your phone and then you can accept your God bless you. Put it in my hands. God bless you. God bless you, daughter. God bless you. The Lord will show you favor. You will not end your journey. Rest. The moment we said the grace, go to Angel Base. There are about, about four of you. You have somebody you've been believing God. Put it in my hands. Don't drop it. Some of you that are holding 15 are you. It's a shame. Put it in my hands. Let shame keep catching you and hold. Let it keep coming on you until you stop. Next year, we'll make it an abominable thing to put 15 hours in this altar. God bless you. Come here, sir. Yes. Your phone. God bless you. Okay, just hold on. God bless you. 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 Son. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You receive favor. God bless you. Can we rise as we say the grace and fellowship? Please don't forget on Sunday is 4 p.m. service. Now, those of us who will come here by 6 p.m. on Sunday, you are an enemy of that new development. So don't be an enemy of that development. Be here on Sunday. Sometimes I check, I don't see choirs come here to give uh, sacrifice or sing. Don't block your own progress. Let me warn choirs. What you're doing there is not as important as what, what is being called here. Don't block your progress. Whenever you're coming to church, especially grace, get your sacrifice. Put it in your bag. When you come to church, you hear sacrifice. Any day you lack anything I call for, you begin to lack the oil working in my life. When I, make sure, when I open my mouth, something is coming out. So when you lack what I call for, you lack what I have. It's not, it's not, I'm not trying to pray. It's not brainwashing. The Bible says, whatever you plant is what you, you get. 
as much as you're a worker, what, even if you're a pope, you must understand the place of you know, partnership with the oil. So don't get, don't get familiar so you don't break down. Familiarity will break you down. Remove the four tires from your car. I've observed it. Some workers will not come out at the same time. They're making transfer. Don't transfer 1,000 naira. Lift your hands now. As you're leaving this place now, may the Lord go home with you. May that light shine down to your bedroom. May there be no hiding place for Satan. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's say the grace in fellowship now. May the grace, the love of God, and the communion of the Spirit. Just going to with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy for us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell with us in love forever and ever. Amen. Shalom. God bless you. Okay, the files there. Eh? The Lord bless you. Just keep coming with it. Until the day. If you stop, you're on your own. God bless you.